Well, welcome back to the dusty, dirty shop. Yep, you're right, it's not clean. And uh, it only gets cleaned like once a year. So. All right, today's project, we're doing another project for the house. And we've got this two inch piece of ash and these other two pieces of ash up here. And I sawed all of those probably I really, realistically, it was probably 20 years ago. I sawed them thinking I was going to make a bed frame for a relative, and that never happened. And this stuff sat in the barn, sat in the barn. And guess what I need now? I need a bed frame. And so I went up in the barn and I go, oh, look at this stuff. It'll make a perfect bed frame. So we're actually making a bed platform. Uh, there'll be no box spring I guess it is no box spring on this bed so I'm in the process of planing these all down to some consistent thickness which I don't even have any idea what it is and I'll show you what uh, got planned hopefully I can film this so it's just a box obviously that's gonna be you know the that's the box and there's going to be slats going uh let on in on the inside like so i don't know how many so the plan is to make this and there's going to be feet on here of some kind um so anyways the plan is to make this so it will all come apart and I don't want to have screws on it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a, let's see, I, I, oh, I messed this up already. So I'm going to do that kind of a joint on the corner, just a box joint. And then I'm going to drill a hole and put a, Let's see if I've got some over here. So, years ago I was given a big box of uh, these big spikes. The guy had built a log cabin or something. So I think what I'm gonna use, I'm do is use these in these corners. And I'm just gonna do a box joint and drill a hole and put this spike right down through. And then on the inside, if you're looking down inside of the uh, bed frame, <clears throat> so it looks like something like that. I'm going to do a leg that fits in here and it will obviously go out to the outside. And it's going to be tapered and I'm going to glue on some blocks on either side so it'll be smaller at the top it'll be smaller at the top so the more weight that gets pushed on this the tighter that joint becomes and it'll just be pushing against these two blocks so it'll all come apart easy and these slats they're going to be dovetailed into let's see they're going to be dovetailed into the sides Something like that so that it all just comes apart with no screws but gravity is going to hold it together so that's the plan I'm going to work on the uh, outside first and go from there
All right, they ended up becoming an inch and a half thick. So I'm going to I cut them to their rough lengths and joint them and then rip them to some width, which I haven't figured out what it is yet. All right, I had three pieces and I said, oh, I'll be able to get two pieces out of that. And then, but I neglected to include uh, the, the lengths to make the finger joints. So it's actually short by about half an inch. And instead of trying to come up with a solution, I didn't want to do it, but I went into the barn, I had to dig to the very bottom of the pile, get another piece of ash. So we now have plenty of wood <laughs> with, uh, with the four pieces. I have plenty of wood to do what I need to do. So I'm going to uh, just figure out what I need to cut them to roughly and chop them all up. All right, there are the four pieces to make the uh, the box. I don't. Uh, I've got plenty of one-inch stuff to make the cross members, and the cutoffs I'll use. I'll glue up and make feet out of. But I didn't pay anything for this stuff. I'm just curious. Um, I have no idea how much. Um, inch and a half actually it's two inch rough sawn ash goes for for board foot but it's growing out in the woods and with the sawmill and a little uh forethought it's pretty much free All right, there are the four pieces um, planed down to consistent thickness, which is just under an inch and a half. I ripped them to uh, kind of the narrowest, whatever the narrowest board was, so they ended up being seven inches wide. And I've already cut them to length. So I'm gonna go take a break. This is the first day this summer that it's been unbearably hot and humid and it's, yeah, it's awful in the shop here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chase these lines all the way around on all four pieces, and then we'll start laying out, I don't even know what 
spacing we've got going on yet. You know, as usual, making it up as I go. I'm sure it'll come out looking all right. All right, so this is what I decided. It's just simple, more simple stuff. So it's seven inches, so I'm dividing it into four equal parts. And so I'm just going to cut out, cut those out there, and those out there, and it'll do that. We're going to lay out everything, and then we're going to cut them and fit them. Yeah, and then this part here will get, that sticks out, will get chamfered, and I haven't, I haven't figured out that exactly, but... All right, I'm back in the shop. It's another hot day. It's supposed to be 97 today. Uh, trying to continue on uh, cutting these things. Yeah, so just have the pull saw and I'm just gonna cut down the lines. There's step one. All right, step two. Step three, and I'm just gonna take and chop this out here.
All right, I just have to do that. How many times? Eight times. And then we can start doing some uh, test fitting. All right, it is a steamy one in here in the shop, but I managed to get all all of the, the joints made up. None of them are fit, obviously, but uh, I'm gonna go take a break and change my shirt. I think it's a three shirt day. And we'll uh, come back down to the shop a little bit later and continue on with the bed frame. Oh, all right, we've got uh, a chamfering done on those. Oops, oops, and down on this end as well. So, so I've just got to do uh, the three other sides and then we can start uh, fitting these in into their uh, rectangular box shape and then I gotta take it all apart There's a bunch more steps sanding drilling and so forth. So Yeah, it's a sweating to the oldies here in the shop today. I think it's like 97 outside pretty damn hot
All right, hopefully you can see that. The lighting is not that good in here. It's not fit drawn together, but basically this, uh, I'm gonna drill a hole and put this, use this as a pin. Of course, I'm gonna cut it off so it doesn't stick out the bottom. And I'll probably even uh, leave it exposed at the top. The object here is to be able to take take this all apart. And these just all will all come apart. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm going to glue on some tapered. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to glue on some blocks in here that are tapered. One here and one on this side. And the feet will just slide in here and the more weight gets on them the tighter they get and then to take them off you just knock them out and the plan is to put some stretchers across out of one inch stuff and probably do a dovetail in here so that they just slide in and hold the sides together and so the object is here for everything to just come apart in pieces. I'll probably label it. And yeah, it'll be a bed that I can take apart and store flat or assemble and carry down the hallway. All right. It's really, really hot in here, but it's hotter outside, so I don't dare open up the window. I'm going to uh, fit the other two, other three sides and then that's probably it for today all right there is the the frame for the bed i just was happy to get i'm just happy to get it to this point today because it's just so hot in here um yeah thrilled it's just gonna take a little while to finish up all right it's been a week actually it's been yeah it's been five days since i was last in the shop um and it's still hot in here last time i got the frame together and this morning i'm going to use this stock and glue up um four blanks for the feet and then I'm going to start uh, working on the interior frame so that's what we're working on this morning All right, there we have it. There are the four legs all glued up. I'll just set this aside. And uh, when they're dry, I'll plane that down into a square and then cut them to 12 inches and start fitting them onto the bed frame.
All right, that that uh, strip that I just glued on, I'll turn it around, <clears throat> is I'm gonna do a layer of uh, one inch boards in, in here and they will sit on top of this ledge and then they'll be about an inch down so that the bed mattress will uh, sit inside and not, you know, it'll be captured inside. I'm not gonna spend any time uh, sanding any of this stuff because it's never going to be seen only the spiders under the bed and monsters that live under there will ever see that so that's what that piece is I went and got some <clears throat> went up in the barn and got some uh, one by four ash more ash because it was all sawn for, uh, it's all quarter sawn for, it's mostly quarter sawn, or it's all intended for flooring, but it's going to be perfect for um, slats in the bed. So I'm going to plane these up, join them, and rip them. They're about four inches, they're four inches now, so I'll probably end up with like three and three quarters. And those will be the slats going across. And I thought, well, I'll show you what I what I intend, but I'm going to get these all planed up, jointed, ripped, and then uh, cut to length, and we'll go on to the next step. Alright, there are the slats, and now I just have to cut them to length, and then figure out how I'm going to hold them from slipping down through. Alright, this is a mock-up of what I'm intending to do. <clears throat> this strip here will be glued on the bottom, and then <clears throat> the these two blocks will be glued on, and the uh, stretchers, or whatever you want to call them, will just slide in between. No big deal, just gonna glue and put a screws in there. And these will just float inside of there. And then uh, I gotta go and get some pine boards to uh, make up the top, the slats that the actual mattress will lay on. All right, that's all just dry fitted. So uh, that's where we're at at this point. All the parts come apart. The next thing you know, I want to clamp these together and drill for the pins, which are right here. Next thing I want to yeah, drill for those. That will lock the corners in place. Then I can start working on the feet. And the last thing to do is the slats, which are easy. They're just going to get planed. And I'm going to ease the edges and cut them to length and lay them in there. And they're they won't be tight, there'll be some gaps between them, so.
All right, I just gotta go cut the pin. There we go. All right, that's it. And we just need to do that to the other side. So that's awesome. We just gotta pull this pin and the joint comes apart. All right, there are the four feet. They're 12 inches long. That piece there, it's got some, the only piece that has a little bark and I'll put that on the inside. No one will ever see that. I'm gonna go try and fit them inside of the bed frame. All right, I got going and I forgot to film stuff, but basically that is the foot. And then the, um, I you can see I glued on two tapered pieces and the foot fits up inside of there. And uh, of course, I, I don't want to put the foot in until these blocks are just glued in place. I'm gonna leave them till tomorrow. And then, uh, Tomorrow's project is to take this all apart, sand it, and then uh, plane up some boards for the top and bring it up to the house, put the bed in it. So, all right, there is the bed frame all stacked up there. Uh, that seems like to me like a lot of wood for a bed frame, but oh well, all the pieces are there. I'm going to put them on the porch. And then uh, uh, clean out the room and get ready to assemble. And I'll, uh, I'll show you how it all goes together. So that's what we got. That's what it ended up being. So I'll make the bed and call that good enough. Now we can go move on to another project. Thanks for watching.